A big part of Strapi v4 has been revamping and refreshing our database query engine. In v4, now we have way more control over what fields and how performant our selections in the database or from the database can be. Let's have a quick look at our documentation to give us a glimpse of what this looks like. So the new query engine API is accessible via strapi.db.query. And I'll show you how we'll do just that inside an existing Strapi application. So we'll go into our Strapi admin and inside our content types builder, we'll create a new collection type code demo. Continue and we'll name the text field text. We'll add another field called media, which is single media, finish, right. Now that our app is back up and running, let's add some data to our demo collection type. Let's some, add something called hello world. We'll save that and we'll publish it. We'll go back and add something else called hello v4. We'll publish that. And then we'll go back and add something called hello you. And then we'll save that and publish. And now we'll open our terminal and create a new controller that we'll use to access the database via the strapi.db.query method. First of all, we'll stop our server and we'll use yarn strapi generate and select controller and generate a new controller. We'll name our controller hello. We want to add the controller to a new API, so not an existing API, and then that's done. And then once we open up VS Code, if we go to Source, API, we notice Hello under Controllers. We need to create a new routes before we can access this. We need to create a new routes folder inside Hello. So new folder, routes. And inside routes, we create a new file called hello.js, where we'll define what routes we want and what methods they'll be accessible by. We'll paste this snippet and add something to the con add some logic to the controller. So we'll un comment this, save. Before we restart our server, Let's name this index and get rid of example action and the arrow function and then save that. And then we can go and restart our server. So now that our server is working, we're going to our browser and fetch localhost 1337 slash API slash hello. And we get forbidden, which is great because we haven't given ourselves permission to the action that we want to access. So back into our Strapi content manager and our settings and roles, we, we click on the public role and go to hello and give ourselves access to get that endpoint. Save and we go back and make a request and we get exactly what we wanted. Okay, now that's great, but where does the database query fit into this? So what we'll do is we'll make a custom query to get a single record inside our controller. And whenever we call this endpoint, that record is given back to us. So let's do exactly that. In your controllers folder and hello.js, you want to edit this. And we'll do that by pasting a snippet. And I'll explain what that does. So we'll get rid of all of this. And then define entries as strapi db.query and then we're accessing this demo controller to find and selecting all text fields where the text is hello world and we'll present that back when it was published in descending order and what we need to do next is define the ctx.body as entries there we go okay so we save that and knowing that we do have something that says hello world, we should get that back to our browser and make that request. And now we get hello world. And if you go to our documentation, it shows you all the different operations you can make 
using find and find many and the different parameters that you can set in making more more refined and accurate database queries that don't affect your performance as much. So this is a great resource. I'll put this in the description so you can generate and create your own complex or bespoke database queries to leverage the new database API.